Hey there. Thanks for checking out this how-to video on the Epson Fast Photo Picture Scanner. But before we get into that, you may be wondering if you haven't seen my other videos, why am I wearing these ridiculously awesome pajamas? Well, it's my attempt to spread a message that you don't have to pay hundreds or even thousands of dollars to get your pictures, your journals, your home videos digitized. It's something you can do from home with the right equipment and the right help, which is what these videos are for. Hence, you can kick back in your favorite, you know, selection of pajamas and enjoy doing this kind of work. One thing you'll want to do before you start using the scanner is organize all of the pictures that you have in a method that makes sense for what you're scanning. Um, so in some cases that may be in chronological order, in other cases you may want to group family vacations together, uh, different traditions from your family or if there's events that you had every year, you know, maybe you want to group all those together. You know best, they're your pictures, you group them how However, it makes the most sense for you. You want to make sure that they're that they're clean. If they've got something sticky on them, you want to clean that off uh, so that it doesn't come up the scanner. That will cause problems. And if they're super dusty, that's something you're going you're gonna to want to wipe off. I'm going to show you real quick how to open up the scanner. Um, and, and one thing you're going to want to keep handy is some kind of a a dust cloth. Uh, if you're renting this piece of equipment from me, I'll include a microfiber a little this guy um, that you could potentially use to, to keep this dust free. So this is the lid. You kind of roll it back like that, and this is where you'll be feeding in the pictures. So pictures go down through here, and they they come out at the bottom right here after they're done scanning. Um, this extends out a little bit if you've got bigger pictures. Every few batches, what you're going to want to do is open this up and dust it a little bit. So the way you open it, there's this little tab here with the arrow, gray tab. You pull that and it kind of pops this front piece open. So just take a dust cloth and, and dust around in there, particularly where you'll see the rollers as you get into there. Um, or what are rolling automatically feeding your pictures through the scanner. So just kind of clean things up a little bit in there. Once you have those kind of organized the way you want them and they're ready to scan, uh, that's when we are going to want to bust open this bad boy and, and uh, get working with it. If you've ever tried to, to scan a ton of pictures with a flatbed scanner, it's painful, right? It, it takes a long time. Uh, you gotta open it up. I thought I could save time by uh, putting multiple pictures into this, the flatbed scanner. Scanning them takes, I don't know, 15 seconds. Then you pull them all out and then you gotta go through later and crop each of those individually. It was a pain. It was a pain and it took forever. This, this guy on the other hand, can scan like 30 pictures in a minute. It feeds itself. All you got to do is, like I said, have, have all your pictures organized before you put them in stacks of about 30. And then when it's done scanning that batch, it'll prompt you and say, do you want to keep scanning uh, it, within, this, within this category? And so you just load up your next stack of pictures. It scans both sides of the pictures. So for, you know, if you have handwritten notes on the back of some, it's going to scan that automatically. and. Uh, have that available so incredible time saver you could bust through hundreds of photos just a couple of hours or something it is worth the investment trust me so the first thing you're going to need to do is download the software you can find the download link in the notes for this video so we go to depths and fast photo site we're going to download this drivers and utilities combo package installer here it should provide you with the, you know, the proper package to install depending on the operating system it detects. Click download. Okay, we're going to open the file. Okay. Click accept. 
next. So here on the screen you'll see that there's a couple of different connection options you can use. Uh, you can connect either through your Wi-Fi network to the scanner. You can also connect via USB cable. I'm going to do it via the USB cable and show you how that works. So, click connect via USB cable and next. And it provides you with the prompts you need. So, plug this guy in. Let's see. So, you'll see uh, kind of the more square looking end you fit here in the back. So, and then the USB portion just fits into the USB slot on your computer. So it says to make sure the scanner is turned on. So you're going to hit this, this top power button up here. And okay, now the scanner is on. So I got the prompt that the setup is complete. Just about ready to roll here. I'm going to click next. It's good to go. So I'll click finish. It's checking the system. Okay. Perfect. It's asking for the product registration. Uh, this is something you don't need to worry about. Just click decline. And then you should get a prompt. Uh, this Epson Fast Photo Setup prompt here. Um, this is where you can select where you want the pictures to be saved. And, and also what you want to prefix uh, each photo with. If you want to look at additional settings, click See All Settings. We are ready to start scanning. You feel the excitement in the air. This is awesome. I'm going to start with this first batch. Now, there's some instructions on this on the scanner here. So it says photo face up, top edge first. So what that means is, uh, yeah, you, you want to you want to set them with that the back of the picture resting on the scanner and you're going to want to put the top edge first so that means scan them upside down. Slot them in there and adjust it, the, adjust these these little bars here depending on how wide your, your, uh, your pictures are that you're scanning. Click start scanning from my laptop So here you can, again, you can uh, create a subfolder for this particular batch or, or describe it at a year, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm not going to worry about that for right now. But if you've got a lot of pictures that you're going to be scanning at one time, this could be really helpful uh, for grouping those all together, making it easy to organize and find later. So I'm going to start scanning. Here we go. Watch how awesome this is. I mean, are you kidding me? Look how fast that is. It is flying through those. This batch of pictures, I don't know if there's, right, there's probably about 30 in here, I would guess. That would have taken me probably 20 minutes on a regular scanner. That took less than a minute. Folks, that is, that's amazing. Okay, so it ran through those. That's gonna prompt me here in a minute. Now it's asking me, do you have more photos? Load more and keep scanning if you do. If not, you can be done. I do have more photos that I wanna scan. It's helpful if you keep sizes separate with your pictures. So I've got 
some more of these four by sixes from this childhood group I want to do. Um, and then, I'm not sure, yeah, these, these ones are slightly smaller and, and they're, um, the orientation is, is vertical as opposed to horizontal. So I'm going to scan these after I get through this batch. Okay, so I loaded those, click scan next batch. Doesn't it just make you so happy? I love this. I mean, why are we paying people to do this for us? You can do it yourself from home in your awesome pajamas, okay?